Go check it. Go fat check it. Go, go, go. Hello and welcome to this episode of Kelpie Live. We are bringing you round three of the Kelpie Cup in the beautiful Mildura in Victoria, Australia. This round is hosted by the North West Victorian Motorcycle Club, the home of the Hadda Desert Race. All seven riders that have entered the Kelpie Cup class will be starting on zero points as the first two rounds did not go ahead. Unfortunately for our Kelpie rider, Brendan McCow at number 22, he had a mechanical, so was a DNS. And our seventh rider totally disappeared. Who knows who that was? So we were left with five riders in total. Let's go and check out the first race of the day. So the Kelpie Cup is the seventh race in each round. There are four rounds. This first race is a six lapper. 13 classes in total. These boys are racing across all different classes, some of them using different bikes and, and switching wheels, and some of them are staying on the same machines using the same setup, which is fantastic to see. So this is a 19-19 class or a 21-19 class. Uh, there is no control tire, so you can choose anything for uh, MX on the back. Uh, Kyle Much in there, the number matching, sorry, number five machine looking very comfortable out the front, followed by Brent Webley on the 778 machine and Jack Stewart on 717. Looks like Ashton Joy went down on the 378 on the first corner there. Uh, pit corner, sorry, not the first corner. Kyle looking good, looking through the corners, no problem. Bit of a gap there between first, second, and third. Looks like it probably will stay that way for the whole six laps. Five remaining. Cole looking strong. He was telling me that he um, was a little bit sketchy on his first practice set. Only two laps practice today. Doesn't give you a lot of time to uh, set up and make changes or, or figure it out really. But he um, yeah, let out a bit of pressure and as you can see he's absolutely killing it. The South Australian rider. Did pick him out himself for a South Australian title up recently. Pretty sure it was on the, in the 450 class. So congratulations to Kyle. So no slouch. And awesome effort here in second place by the 778 of Brent Webley, also from South Australia. Uh, I was telling myself a, a great story about how he entered the AFTN, drove up to Appen, which is about 40 minutes out of Sydney. Pretty huge drive, like it was for myself and, and McCowett. And um, yeah, jumped in the pro class there and, and gave it a crack. New back on the bike. So uh, it was a, a pretty big effort, really. So Kyle coming around, lapping um, the 378 there in this first race for the Kelpie Club class. Last lap board out there for Kyle, showing us uh, the power of the mighty 250. Brent coming up there into turn one. Looks like he wants the lap as well, but I don't know if he'll pull that off. Neil Murtort, I hope I got your surname right there, Mill, on number 27 on the Kelpie block tyres front and back. Only one running the complete 19 inch wheel set. So there you go, there's your winner, number five, Kyle Matchin. Followed by the 778 of Brent Webley, 717 of Jack Stewart, uh, 27 of Neil Murtort, and 378 of Aspen Joy. So, great race, first race out for these guys on their 19 inch setups. So, into round two, our riders come out to line up. Might notice here, number 27 has an American tyre on the front and the Kelpie block on the rear. This time out. Just waiting for the 378 of Aston Jewelry. Don't know a lot about Aston, uh, where he's from, etc. It's great to see him out there getting experience. 
second race has been reduced to four laps. I think the uh, club decided to reduce them. They were meant to be six, six and ten, but we got six, four and four and four, unfortunately. But anyway, the riders still had a ball. Kyle's at it again. He's got a great start there. A bit more of a battle for second, though. Stuart got a better start. Putting the pressure on Webley this time. Webley holding them off. That's a very straight up and down style, Webley, but it's working for him. That's the main thing. He's a pretty big guy, actually. So uh, maybe that's part of it. So is Jack. They're both pretty big guys. Kyle streaming out the front there, looking very comfortable. I know 22 of Macau was pretty disappointed uh, with his mechanical. Somehow we've got a pinhole in the stator cover. So he had to pull out. He was going to be riding on the American tyres front and back. That's the whole point of this class, is to see which tyre is supreme, the, the block pattern or American pattern. All being on 19 inch diameter rims, so that evens it up a bit over the Mitchie. Great battle going on for second here. Brent just not quite giving in to Stuart's pressure. Stuart tries to go around the outside. Bringing the power in. Looks like he might have him this time. Very neck to neck down the start finish. Number 27, Neil McTort there going hard. Coming through 378 of Aspen Jory. Out the front, comfortably, we have Kyle matching. And the battle's still going on for second. Coming round pit corner, Jack looks like he's got it now. Definitely got it. So, first place going to number five, Kyle Matchin for the second race of the day, followed by the 717 machine of Jack Stewart, 778 of Brent Webley, 27 Neil Matort, and 378 Mr. Jory. So all our riders get a bit of time to rest now as the track brick goes ahead and the sun goes down. And when we return, it will be round three and our first race under lights. The moisture came up. This is a beautiful track here at Jamboree Park and all the riders always go on about how much they love it. So riders are coming out now onto the track. Kyle looking to get very confident. No, he really enjoyed himself and uh, we'll hopefully be coming to the next round at Broadford. So our three fastest riders all lined up next to each other there on the start gate. We are running under Australian dirt track rules here, so hence why we have a concrete block and a start gate. It's pretty typical of Australian dirt track. But as mentioned earlier, the riders all have 19, 19, configuration or 2119 bit of a slow start there for um, the 717 that time oh a bit of a camera bit of a camera bobble here <laughs> all fun <laughs> that action in the in the right hander unfortunately couldn't quite get it the film went out of focus steward around the outside of, of Webley looks like he's found a bit of pace chasing Kyle on the number five machine. Looks like Kyle's pulled that gap. Kelpie blocks hooking up pretty nicely. 717 Jack Stewart. Running the V rubber on the rear. Not sure what he's got on the front. Was interested to see 778 Brent Webley. Had a Michelin Soft Trials tyre on the front and a V-rubber on the rear. Usually um, on the 21 inches we see the motocross style knobbly tyre, which is fine on the front, just not on the rear. Kyle looking pretty comfortable here, squaring up the corner. Coming out nice and hard. Great to see that he's just Pushing hard no matter what, whether he's got competition or not. So 
Seven one seven looking much more comfortable this time. I think uh, Brent Webley will be hard to catch. Jack doesn't mean he's not going to try. Only four laps, so you don't have a lot of time in, the, in their four lappers. So yeah, once again, number five, Kyle Matchin takes the win. Jack Stewart in second, Brent Webley in third, Neil McCourt thought. And, oh my goodness, Ashton Joy. On to our final race of the evening. Our three fastest riders there on the inside. Gates once again. A few burnouts, get a bit of heat into the tyre. Jack looking ready to rock this time. Try to dial that start in a little bit better. We're all giving the nod to our flaggy. Gates drop. Fantastic start there by the 778 machine. Number five coming up on the inside. 717 trying to get involved in the action there. They've got to catch, uh, hang on to number five if they want to um, not have him run away like he has in the previous races but I think uh, they're going to be pushing it they're going to get tangled up in another battle for second 717 cutting on the inside needs to get on the power early he does another camera focus issue somehow Brent Webley got around the jack again, young jack on the inside, bringing the throttle on early, getting the power down. That Yamaha certainly does have some power of the 778 machine. Drifts a bit wide, letting jack have the inside line, loses a lot of, a lot of room, a lot of ground. Jack hasn't got away of it yet though. Brent into the inside there. This is where he can pull Jack in. Still had a chance for Brent to get a second place. Kyle Matchins out the front. Again, very comfortable, no pressure on him at all. I don't know if uh, 778 has any answers for the 717 machine of Jack Stewart from the Harley Club. He's saying, yeah, I've got to thank you, baby. Those four laps sure do go fast. So that's going to tie it up for, for Jack Stewart, a second overall. Kyle Matchin easily takes the win. Hopefully in the next round he's going to have some challenges make him work a little bit harder for that $300, but tonight he'll be taking that home. Fantastic effort by all the Kelpie riders, and we do, really do thank them for supporting our series, and hope that more riders will enter as they see this footage and see what a blast they're having out there on the 19 inch, either 19 inch rear or 19 inch front and rear. So great to have some points scored now for the Kelpie Cup. Our overall point standings pretty much the same as the, how the whole night went. At the top the step there we've got number 5 Cotton Matchin from South Australia on 100 points. Followed by number 717 of Jack Stewart from Victoria on 86 points. Number 778 Brent Webley from South Australia on 82 points. Number 27 of Neil Murtort on 72 points from Victoria also. Number 378, Aston Jory on 64 points. Fantastic work by all the guys and we hope to see them at the other rounds. We would like to say a huge thank you to Northwest Victorian Motorcycle Club for hosting the Kelpie Cup class. And also our partners, ShredDesign.co, Euroka Fencing, Classic Wheels and Spokes and Otway Hydro Blasting and Kelpie. Together we're making this Happen. This was Kelpie Live. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you at the next round.